Hey folks, thanks for checking in with us here at MyFoxHurricane.com. Meteorologist Tyler Eliason with you. We're just counting down the days really till the end of hurricane season. We really can't come soon enough. Uh, that being said, still got some stuff to watch as we uh, head through the rest of October here. Uh, of course, we have uh, Hurricane Epsilon a few hundred miles east of Bermuda. I'll show you that in just a second. But closer to the U.S., what we're really watching for parts of southeast Florida and the Bahamas is this broad area of low pressure just south of Cuba today that will head uh, kind of up that general direction over the next three to four days. Probably not expecting much through the weekend, but by, say, late Sunday, early Monday, may see something try and spin up in that general area, again, around southeast Florida or over the Bahamas. Uh, personally, I think this is really going to ultimately end up being just a, a lot of rain, locally heavy rainfall potentially for parts of southeast Florida. Uh, for areas further west, probably actually going to draw in some drier air, so around Tampa Bay, uh, probably going to be a quieter setup as we head towards Sunday and Monday with less of a rain chance. About a 30% chance of development from the National Hurricane Center over the next five days. We'll watch it, but again, not too much concern. Again, even if something does spin up, it's always going to be moving away from the U.S. Uh, after it moves through the Bahamas there. So just something to watch uh, through the weekend. Here's Hurricane Epsilon as of 11 a.m. Thursday, 90 mile an hour winds. So it can, continues to weaken earlier on this morning. It was a major hurricane, so a pretty drastic drop off uh, just in the last few hours that will head into the uh, North Atlantic there over the next uh, couple of days. Hope you enjoy uh, the rest of your week and have a great weekend. Take care.